the government teacher and the head boys basketball coach here at Trey High School. And um, so what type of uh, education have you received up to this point? So like what colleges did you go to and like what was your major year and all that? I was a graduate of Northwest Missouri State um, in 1990. Uh, I got a Bachelor's of Science in Secondary Education. My major was in Social Science, and I had a coaching minor. Um, what skills do you think are needed to be in this career field? So like just being a teacher and then being a coach on top of that? Uh, I think you really need to like what you do. Uh, I think that's a really important component of it, because if you don't like what you're, doing, what you're doing and being here every day, I think that really can make it for some pretty long days. Uh, I think you have to have a lot of patience because a lot of times things that you'll try either in the classroom or as a coach won't go the way you want them to. Uh, so I think that's really important that you uh, have be able to have some patience and be willing to try a few things and understand there's gonna be some things that don't work and there's gonna be some things that do work well and uh, hopefully you can get the things that do work well and repeat those enough to have a little success in there. All right. Um... What are some future career options like that may come from this? So like you're in this now, but what are some things that could happen later that you're you're looking at maybe? It would depend on what direction I wanted to go. You know, I've always had an interest in eventually coaching at the college level. Uh, if I you know could coach at the college level, at some point I would have to uh, probably get a master's degree uh, in uh, athletic in an athletic area, whether it be athletic administration or something along those lines. Uh, I'd probably have to work my way up from being a graduate assistant on up if I was gonna do that. Uh, if I chose the route to get into school administration, uh, I could get a master's in school administration and uh, you know work on either becoming an athletic director uh, or getting to be an assistant principal, principal or superintendent if I wanted to. Those would be two avenues that I've kind of, two directions I've thought about going in the past. Um, what career did you have in mind when you came into coaching? So, like, did you always you always wanted to coach, or have you did you just kind of fall in your lap? Or yeah, when I was when I was younger, when I was in high school, uh, I was asked to coach a uh, a little league team, uh, and had a uh, had really never really thought about doing that much. I mean, I've always liked sports. Uh, they asked me to coach a a basketball team at the little league level and it was a it was a group of sixth and seventh graders and uh, the year that I did it we ended up going undefeated and winning the league championship and I had a lot of fun doing that and I thought it was fun teaching kids the game and uh, that so that's something that kind of sparked my interest a little bit and I had some really good teachers that kind of you know and coaches that I had when I was younger too that kind of helped spark some of that interest. Uh, and being a teacher and a coach do you notice things that work in the classroom and on like on the court well together like the things that go like hand in hand like um, responsibilities or something like that yeah I think I think uh, you know things like discipline you have to be consistent on what you're what you're doing and what you're asking your kids to do you know that you know if you're asking your kids to do things a certain way you have to ask all your kids to do it that way uh, I think that's something that whether it's in the classroom or um, you know on the on the basketball court you have to be able to do it you know be consistent as far as those expectations are concerned uh, I think you also have to um, show that you're a positive role model that you like doing both you know what I mean that you have to show that you like you like teaching um, and, and you like coaching at the same time and I think Part of coaching and teaching, you know, those kind of go hand in hand. You know, I look at basketball coaching as kind of a way I have to teach you guys the game. Uh, you know, I have to teach you how to play the game and play it the way that I think is the right way. And I think if you do those things consistently, you're going to have, you know, a degree of success doing what you do.